Oh dear. Yeah. So I figured out where all the moths are coming from. See all these guys? The, the house was getting clear full of moths and we couldn't figure out where it was coming from. But then I remembered that I, I never cleaned out this beehive. Which means it's probably got wax moths. If that's a word. <laughs> There's some cobwebs. I haven't been down here in a while. Kind of completely forgot about this. Let's have a look in here. Yeah, that's what wax moths will do to a beehive. See that? All the brood comb and stuff is now eaten up and turned into moths. Yep. It looks like I'm going to be cleaning this out. Actually, I admit that I didn't completely forget about it. I knew the moths were doing this. I kind of wanted to see what it would do because if you've got a beehive like in your house, like up in the rafters of your roof or something, and the bees die, what happens? Well, this happens. If you don't have a beekeeper come clean them out, you're going to have honey dripping onto your living room ceiling. Got me a bucket here to put the honey in there. Probably find another bucket for all the nasty stuff. And I think this honey is still probably good. But you know, I really can't bottle it. So, I think I may as well go ahead and try my hand at making another batch of mead. Tell you what, let's go ahead and dig into this together. Yeah, most of this honey is still pretty good. These bees certainly didn't starve to death, did they? Actually, I'm not entirely sure what killed them off. Uh, I was talking to some other beekeepers and they think it was just the mites. Mites usually kill bees off. I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and cook this honey. I cook it into water and then uh, ferment it and that will of course kill any pathogens. I might make some pretty good mead. Yeah, so let's just get all this honey out of here. Looks like most of the honey is on the outer areas of where the brood, brood comb was. Ah, look at this. Yeah, look at that. This right here is some moth cocoons that haven't hatched yet. So let's go ahead and throw those away. Summer's coming to an end. I've still got a lot of projects planned, so, you know, I've decided to change the name of the series from Summer of Science to just, just the name of the videos. You know, because I'm not going to make it like any real distinction. What I'm going to end up doing is coming out here every weekend and doing projects, and then I'll upload the videos throughout the week. Um, I was thinking I might end up having like an upload schedule. Uh, upload like Monday night, uh, Friday, you know, that sort of thing. I'll pick a time and I'll actually make it public somewhere the time that I plan to upload videos. I'll probably upload two, maybe three videos a week for the foreseeable future. There's still moths in here. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> um... I think if you guys want to see like updates to what I'm doing, one of the best ways to do it would be to go ahead and go to my uh, Facebook page, which I've set up. I'll put a link in the description. If you really like my videos, then you might go ahead and go like that Facebook page. That way you can like check that occasionally and, and see what my next videos are going to be, you know. Oh, it's actually warm in there. Almost like it's, uh, almost like sticking your hand into a compost pile so it's probably because of all those worms those moths are probably actually generating a little bit of heat it's crazy you see i plugged the hive off so that the other bees would not rob it out honestly i probably should have let them rob it out so i didn't have this big sticky mess but like i said i wanted to simulate what would happen if somebody killed the bees and sealed off the entrance you would end up with this in your wall <laughs> which is nasty <laughs> yeah so this is what the moths are going after right here the brood comb see that they love this they, they're actually after like the paper and stuff in it I'm not exactly sure why but they somehow get the sustenance out of eating that just like uh, eating your clothes I guess they don't seem to eat the honey though and look at all these moths I mean they've take this pile and throw the chickens here in a little while. The chickens will love scratching through this. I'm almost to the end here. This stuff doesn't look like it's got very much honey in it. So all of this is going to get thrown away. Or at least fed to the chickens. Yeah, it looks like you guys have pretty much seen everything that I'm going to be doing here. 
I'm just pulling out the last comb now. So I think this is all the honey. The rest of this stuff is probably going to get thrown away. I'm going to take this box outside and set it next to the chicken coop as well. I guess the next thing you guys will see is me putting a little bit of water in this and melting it down and making some honey water that I can turn into meat. As you can see, I have this uh, pot of honey on the stove now. I'm going to add a little bit of water to it to make things flow a little easier. I'm going to let this whole thing basically melt down and I'll skim off the wax and the moth bits. And that should leave me a honey water solution, which is what I'll be using to make the mead. This is going to take a long time to heat up, so in the meantime, how about I go look at some of my other beehives. This hive here is doing really well. You can see they're swarming the entrance and they're fighting me quite a bit. There's uh, quite a few bees even up here in this top box here. See this? Yeah, anything they put up in here is going to be my harvest. Alright, they're uh, kind of aggressive so I probably ought to leave them alone. They are very aggressive actually. <laughs> oh man, I wanted to show some more of that hive back there, but uh, as you can probably tell, it's getting a bit dark and bees really don't like when it's dark, so I was asking for it, even just opening the lid. Uh, even still, there's something I wanted to get done with this hive real quick. It shouldn't disturb them too much, hopefully, so I guess I'll show you it. I'll turn the light on the camera so you don't get too dark. So this hive here is... Uh, got two queens in it and uh, if I could lift the lid I probably shouldn't but let's uh, go ahead and pop the lid here so you can see they are well they're out of room this ought to be pretty easy let's just knock this off temporarily pop on the queen excluder and set this uh, hive box on top of them they've been living together for so long I don't think the bees will fight let's just uh, set that on there like that that way they've got extra room and some honey to eat. There we go. And there it is. Three gallons of mead, which is busy bubbling away. Bubble here every now and then, yeah. See, I got this uh, jar full of uh, alcohol, probably around 50% strength. I think that'll keep any bacteria from making its way in there. Hopefully I kept everything clean enough. I mean, I think that's definitely the hardest part of all this, and definitely what I messed up on last time. So yeah, it'll be several weeks before I know that it was a success or not which by my calculation should be right around the time of my 20,000 subscriber special. Uh, I of course didn't use all the honey. See, I still got maybe a gallon of honey left in here. And uh, this here I really can't store because I've added water to it, so I'll probably end up either feeding it back to the bees or finding some more jars and doing a second batch. Let's go ahead and go look at that uh, beehive because I know you guys want to see how the two queen system is working. It's been about a day. Looks like bees are still coming out of both entrances. Let's go ahead and pop off the lid and see what they're doing in there. Yeah, it looks like the bees are moving up into the supper box. They don't seem to be fighting or anything. It's a good sign. Looks like they're cooperating. That's good. Maybe we can get them to have those queens make bees and then the, the bees will fill this with honey. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming to the end of the video now, and I have one more thing I wanted to mention. You see, I'm going into my last year of college now, and I'll be paying for it in a large part with the revenue that I'm making off my YouTube channel. I think that is incredible. You guys are just awesome. Thank you so much, and I'll definitely make some more videos for you. Now, I know most of you have subscribed for my science videos, 
And don't worry, I've been playing with some gun cotton and my next video will include this. But I can't forget about the people who have subscribed to my channel for my beekeeping videos. Hopefully I can still put out the occasional honeybee related video. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. <laughs>